Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you how to move postings from one folio to another using charge routing. Remember the old schoolyard rhyme? I'm never your glue. Whatever you say to me bounces off me and sticks to you. That's exactly what charge routing does. It allows us to automatically bounce charges off of one guest's folio to another guest or to a group master. We begin with a guest who checked in today, and you can see he has no charges yet. Another guest who is already in-house will pay for Mr. Stanley's room and tax, and would like the charges for both rooms on one bill at checkout. To do this, select the Charge Route option from the posting toolbar. At the top of the Charge Route window, we have two tabs, Guest and Groups. We first need to select the proper tab so we can search for the receiving account. In this case, we're routing to another guest, so I'll use the Guest tab and enter a few letters of the last name. Here's the guest we're looking for. I'll click to select him. Now we need to tell Cloud PM which charges this guest is receiving. Simply choose the department codes you want directed to the other room, and use this arrow button, which adds that department to this list. If you want to move all charges, use the double arrow button. If we make a mistake or want to stop routing charges, we can remove a code using this arrow button, or remove all routing with this double arrow. Mr. Simmons will pay the room charge, so I'll highlight Room and click the arrow. By the way, you don't need to memorize which taxes go with all of your department codes. If a code is taxable, Cloud PM will automatically route the tax for you. When we look at Mr. Stanley's folio the following day, we see from the reference that room and tax bounced off this bill and stuck to Mr. Simmons. Likewise, the reference on Mr. Simmons' folio shows that he received this room and tax posting from Mr. Stanley. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Please feel free to contact your account manager or our customer support center for additional questions.